Hello everybody, this is Dr. Geeta Matai and this is my Health Vibes channel. Today we are going to talk about menstruation. Menstruation is a normal part of life, but actually women menstruate and men do not. What is the difference between men and women? Women can produce children, but men cannot. So women can produce children because they menstruate. Menstruation is the signal that the woman's body is ready to produce a child. The age at which menstruation occurs varies from person to person. In some girls, it's as early as nine years. And in others, even at 14 and 15 years, they have not menstruated even once. The age at which menstruation occurs depends on the age at which other members of the family menstruated, like the mother, the father, sisters, and it's usually the average age of all these people. But if a girl is very thin, or if a, then she may menstruate late. If a girl is fat, then she may menstruate early. So there is variation even with the genetics. Before menstruation can occur, the bo girl's body has to get ready to have a baby. And many changes occur for this breast develop and the girl becomes taller and hair forms in the armpits and in the private parts. About two years after these changes start to occur, menstruation starts. After the first cycle, the next cycle may not occur for six months or four months. This makes the parents very anxious, but this is normal. Now, there are certain conditions in which you should consult a doctor. If the girl menstruates before the age of nine years, or if she's 15 or 16 years and shows so no sign of developing or menstruating. If the cycles are delayed for more than six months, then it is worth consulting a doctor. But usually it takes one and a half foot or two years for the cycles to become regular. Many people go through life and they don't bother about their menstrual cycles at all. But some of the women have severe pain. Now, when they have severe pain, please remember that this pain can be tackled. First of all, you should check to see if there's any reason for the pain. If there is no reason, then it is because your uterus is releasing a chemical called prostaglandin, which causes the pain. And if you take anti-prostaglandins like mephenemic acid, or even if you take paracetamol, the pain can be relieved. There is no need to suffer with pain. And if you suffer for two or three days and are unable to go to school or college or work, then your life will suffer because the men who are your colleagues and your classmates do not menstruate. So though they do not need to take two or three days off. So they will soon overtake you professionally and in studies. In order to tackle this pain, take a hot water bottle, fill it and apply it to your stomach and then take the medication. The tablets that I have mentioned do not have side effects and you do not need to be afraid. If you exercise regularly for 30 minutes a day, aerobic exercise like cycling, running, swimming, walking, and you do yoga, then it is unlikely that you will suffer from with pain from for months on end. So it is worth exercising regularly. There is another problem with periods and that is some girls have starting trouble they don't get their periods for two months, three months, four months. And others, once the periods start, they do not stop. 15 days, 20 days, 30 days, and they are still bleeding. Both these things need to be investigated. Very often it is due to hormonal imbalance, which occurs very often because the woman is overweight. Sometimes it may go occur because of other reasons, which your doctor will find out with appropriate tests. But most of these problems can be tackled very easily and there is no need for you to suffer. Menstruation does not go on forever. So finally, it stops. But that also marks the end of the woman's reproductive life. You cannot have children if you do not menstruate. So at the age at which menstruation stops also varies. It can be anything from 35 to 52. The average age is 50 years. When the menstruation stops also, the woman's body undergoes certain changes. She tends to put on weight, tends to become sleepy, gets tired easily. And since she is no longer protected by hormones, she is susceptible to the same diseases that her male counterparts have. 
that is high cholesterol, heart attacks and strokes. Also, the bones become weak once the menstruation stops. So please remember to check if your bones are weak and if they are weak, take calcium supplements. Hot flashes, tiredness, fatigue, weight gain, all these things can be tackled with regular exercise and with yoga. Stay fit, stay happy, keep everybody around you happy. This is Dr. Geeta Matai signing off. If you liked what you heard, please subscribe to my Health Vibes channel and press the bell button. The same content is available in Tamil. Thank you.